you have not been called to be a demological professor. You say, you know, when you see these actions, you know it is the queen of the coast, then you battle for seven days, you do 21 days prayer and fasting, and then you may, you, may, you may not win, but you are gaining stature in the spirit, and then you will come back next year, and then by that time you have prayed and done VG for 365 days, then you have gained enough stature, you can have, uh -uh. What do you think this Christianity is? What do you think it means for a believer to have the spirit of God again? What do you think it means? Do you think it's, do you think it's a joke? We are saying someone is crying God on his inside. He now has to go and pray to God for 365 days to be able to cast out one small demon. Let me tell you, all demons are small. Ha <laughs> ha. This thing I said is a big revelation for some of you. All demons are small. They are small. They are small in size. They are small in, in scope. They are small in strength. All those things I say, this one is, is too powerful. Like, no! Every demon can be casted out. Everyone. Your work in this world is to cast every demon out. See, you will chase them from here and you chase them everywhere. You should have a reputation. After all, build this one, I know you. Why? When I was her, when I was in Lockhart, he, he, he's going to chase us out. Why is he here again? Those are, that's, that is a godly testimony. You know when they were saying about Paul? They have encountered Paul before. Say, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you? They have, saw, they have seen Paul's koboko before. And if Paul changed them out of sorry, they will leave that place. So, glory to God. Yeah. It is this helping your mind? I have power over demons. So said, what happened to you? They are beating me in my dream. I've seen this thing before. It's not, it's not being trickle. And it was a lady one years ago. And she said, that was the first time I saw something like that. I was like, ah, she used to have gym. And she'd be having, since she came from my village. Don't people say that in this Lagos, people who are born in Lagos sometimes feel that demons don't exist. Not knowing that the feeling of not knowing that demons exist is a demonic confession. You don't understand? Because demons don't always have to operate the same way. There are demons who are very braggadocious and very obvious. Some are very smart also. The person with look at let's 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 be at wait now. The person that pursuing in the dream, demonic forces are pursuing the dream and beating when the person wake up. Is the person much different from someone that has demons inspiring them to do things? I said, why did you steal this thing? I don't know. The voice just said, take it, take it, take it. You don't need it. I know I don't need it. But I could not stop myself. When you see people being impulsive, you could not stop yourself. You don't need to do this. Impulsiveness is demonic. Nobody has to chase in your dream. We need to deliver you. We need to deliver you. Why did you do this? I don't know. And I don't want to do it. And I try to, ah, I am living your life under impulse. That's also demonic oppression. Amen. Yeah. Now that lady came and she was like, they would beat her, they would chase her in her dream. Amen. And what will happen? When she wake up, they will flog her from, no, they flog you from your dream into real life. And you wake up and your back have marks. Not, not, not pancreas marks, so. Pancreas will swell up now. This one, there will be blood dead. Amen. Yeah. And like, she was not telling me stories of, she has been going up and down. She comes to this church, they did seven days deliver, they did this, they did this, they did this, they did this. And I said, eh. And some of you, when you are talking to pastors, don't be telling people what they have gone through. I try to scare us. Amen. I, I, I remember going to redemption camp. I met a man who was blind. I've been praying for many hours. I said, where, where can I dispose, seek this power? I just went to meet her. I said, I want, if I pray with you, your, your, your eyes will open. I said, hmm, I know. I know that God will do it. Let me pray for you. So I said, don't worry. God will do it at the time he wants to do it. I said, why are you not here? I said, I'm just waiting for God to do it. I said, eh, hey, let me just pray. If you don't, let me just pray. I said, don't worry. That even this eyes I see, Pastor Adibu has prayed for me twice. So I know that God will do it when he wants to do it. When you have told me that Pastor Adibu has prayed for you twice, what do you want me to do again? No, think about it. What do you want me to do? I said, okay. Let's wait for God to do it. Hallelujah. Some people are like that too. So she was not telling me the stories of where she has gone, where they are gone. It's okay. 
from today is not happening again. So that's it. Uh, yes. Okay. Big your head. It's not happening again. Because the people feel like what is not enough. Do something. Yeah. Sometimes when we put hand on your head, it's thought to help you. But the word was enough. Amen. It was yesterday I saw her. She was getting me on the road. I didn't recognize her. But I ah. When I described her, I said, hey. It's that in that time that I told her it not happen again, never once did they push down in that dream. Why? We have power against unclean spirit. No matter how big their schemes are, no matter how large it seems, a lot of people have been in oppression for too long and they can't see any reality apart from that. There's a way the devil will suck you into oppression and will make it the frame of your life. That if someone is offering you hope, you'll be like, no. It can't be this easy. I know it is easy with Jesus. Yes, it is so easy with Jesus. Very easy with Jesus. I, I remember when I was in Kosovo, there was <laughs> until you meet someone that they pursue in their dream, you don't know what I'm saying. She said they pursued her and she stepped on glass when she was running in her dream. And she woke up because she came to the next one and said, see, I like his bleeding. I said, ah. Where the library said, Pastor, they were pursuing me in the dream, and I stepped on this thing, and I woke up, my leg was bleeding, and my body marks every other. Ah, what kind of demonic oppression is this one? But our own mind is not to be, our own work is not to be wondering, ah, is there this scale of demonic oppression again? Whatever the story is, whatever they say, whatever, no matter how it is described, they say, Someone has not been able to give back for 12 years. I don't doubt it though. Me, I don't I know demons can do whatever they want to do. All I know is that the power of God will supersede my expectation. Ah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So I'm not trying to say no, it's a lie, it is true. Break the matter. This power will solve it. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we say no, 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 demons cannot oppress Christians. Oh, demons oppress Christians. 